Before we take a look at the individual components in Vital, let's take a look at the overall interface and how to work with it. I'm going to load in an initialize preset. So I'll click over here. In this drop down menu, I'll choose initialize preset. All right, so we have three oscillators here. You can turn them individually on and off by clicking on this little icon here. There's also this sample playback option. You can turn that on and off as well. Filters can be activated. We get two filters here. So that is the voice tab. There are four different tabs here. The next tab is the effects tab, fairly straightforward. Click on the effect you wanna engage and it appears over here. And the signal will get affected with these effects. Next is the modulation matrix. So if there were any modulation assignments, they would appear over here. Or you can even create ones from scratch. So let's say I'll choose a source here and choose a destination. And now we have that set up over here. Next is the advanced tab. Up top here, we're looking at some advanced settings related to unison for each oscillator. It looks like it's grayed out right now. That's because we do not have unison engaged. I'll just click and drag here to switch from one voice to anything above one. And now going back to the advanced tab, we have all these advanced features related to unison. At the bottom here, more global controls. On the right here, we have this very cool oscilloscope as well as a spectrum analyzer. That can be very helpful. Now, if you're in any other tab, you don't get to see that. But there is a preview window over here. So you can kind of see the oscilloscope, but if I click on it, we can switch to the spectrum analyzer. All right, you'll notice that the right section of the interface did not change irrespective of which tab we were in. And that is the modulation section. We have all the different envelopes, LFOs, some random generators, and some global settings at the bottom over here. A little keyboard view so you can see what notes are being input. Very helpful. Mod wheel, pitch bend indicator here as well. Macros on the right over here. To access the preset browser, just click on the preset name and then the preset browser opens up. You can see here, not a very comprehensive preset list. The synth is fairly new and I'm sure in the upcoming weeks, we will get a lot more presets. There's only one drop down menu over here and it's all fairly straightforward relating to loading presets or saving presets. Now, once you've customized a preset or created one from scratch, you can save it by clicking on this icon here. Give it a name, enter your name, choose the style of the preset, and also include some comments that would help when using the preset. If you click on the icon over here for the synth, we get to know which version we're running at. We can also enable this automatic checking for updates. And you can also resize the interface. So if you wanna make it very small, you can bring it down to 50% or you can go all the way up to 400%. All right, in the next tutorial, let's talk about the signal flow on the synth.